Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a season review of the first season of Justified on FX. Uh, I got the DVD copy here. Of course, uh, Justified, like I said, aired on FX. It went for about, I think it went six or seven seasons for some reason. I forget exactly how much right now. Um, but uh, Justified is a show that I planned on watching in the past, or I, I considered watching in the past. But uh, I'm just juggling so many things all the damn time. I, I gotta, you know, I gotta pick and choose and stuff like that. Um, but Justified has always been a show that I've been uh, curious about and I've wanted to get to before. And I finally did, not too long ago. Um, my brother, you know, he had uh, watched the show. You know, he and uh, his girlfriend have pretty much have binged, you know, through it. You know, pretty much in about a week or two, I think. <laughs> um, you know, with me, I, I kind of like to take my time. I, I like to, you know, watch an episode or two, then wait a day or two, or at least, like, just watch an episode a day, not, like, watch four or five episodes at once. <laughs> um, you know, because I like to, you know, kind of uh, savor things and, uh, you know, take things in little by little, you know, so I can get, like, the full immersion out of it and stuff like that. Um, except when I first watched Dexter, I, I kind of blazed through that. <laughs> but I was trying to catch up on the last season of that, too. But anyway... Um, I'm happy I finally got around to watching, excuse, excuse uh, my Godzilla, you know, pillowcase getting in the way there. <laughs> um, I did finally manage to, uh, start watching Justified, I just finished the first season a few days ago, and I uh, gotta say, I think it is a pretty good show so far. I do, uh, like it quite a bit already. Um, of course, uh, stars Timothy Elephant as... Of course, uh, Raylan Givens, you know, he's this uh, deputy U.S. Marshal, and, you know, there's some kind of, there's some kind of shooting, you know, in Miami, pretty much in the opening scene, which I actually really love the opening scene, um, you know, you're giving the guy, you know, so many hours to, uh, get out or do something else, but then he just, you know, shoots, shoots this, uh, boss down right here and there, and, uh, this gets him sent away from Miami back down to, you know, his, uh, hometown, of course, uh, Harlan County, Kentucky, and uh, there he has a he has a lot of uh, personal ties that he would have rather not revisited at least uh, this soon <laughs> or uh, maybe at all. Um, and so this uh, brings up some things from his past, you know, that this first season uh, touches on. Um, so it kind of deals with him, uh, you know, kind of reigning control over you know what he had left behind and what it's become since he's left. And also, also, I'll show you the uh, back of it real quick as well. But yeah, I'll, I'll read you the uh, back of it. You can look at the cover and of my face while I read it. Uh, Timothy Elephant, uh, Damages in Deadwood, stars as a modern-day Western hero based on the character created by legendary crime novelist Elmore Leonard from his short story Fire in the Hole. Deputy uh, Marshal Raylan Givens is exiled to his hometown, Harlan County, Kentucky, after the shooting of a Miami drug cartel hitman, raises debate over Givens' renegade style of law enforcement. Unfortunately, it isn't long before the people he left behind begin to surface in the most unexpected ways. So it's pretty much as I just explained it, but so I wanted to get to like the official uh, wording instead of me just uh, rambling and you know here and there about the premise. Um, so yeah, uh, it is a it is a good show, you know. Um, I've heard from my brother it just gets even better, which I don't really doubt. Um, the first season, you know, it does kind of have some like you know your t case of the week type of episodes, I guess if if you want to call it that. Um, but I I really liked him with the elephant, and yeah, you know, I liked him in a horror horror remake called the uh, the Crazies, um, which is a movie I still need to do a video on at some point. Probably will when I have my girlfriend watch it. Um, but I liked him in that, you know, I've seen him on a couple of other things here and there. And he is just great as, uh, Raylan Gibbons, let me tell you. Um, you know, he just has, like, this great charisma and energy and, you know, charm about him that he just really embodies the character and makes him feel real. Um, but he's, uh, he's great with the subtle stuff, too, you know, like his, uh, Raylan has this buried sort of anger and sort of, you know, just, uh, darker side of himself that, you know, he holds back, you know, and he kind of, uh, he kind of uses his, uh, cocky and, like, asshole at times attitude, um, as, like, a defense mechanism of sorts, and I really can't wait to dive further into this character's psyche, hopefully, over the next few seasons after this, 
Um, but what, I, what I'm saying is even in those you know case of the week episodes, uh, Timothy Elephant's performance as Raylan and just watching Raylan on screen, it really just bring, it still keeps a life and, a, and an energy with it that wouldn't necessarily be there if it was like a typical episode on any other show. Um, and the, the case of the week episodes really aren't that bad either. You know they are you know fairly engaging for what they are. Like, you have this uh, judge who likes to keep guns with him, dresses in, like, uh, Speedos under his gown, you know, things of that nature. Um, or, like, little uh, side connections to uh, to Boyd's operations, you know, Walton Goggins. We'll talk more about him in a few minutes here. Um, or other little things that are going on. You also have, like, Ava, um, you know, who is, uh, you know, who is the wife of one of the other... Uh, Okay, my dog's sleeping down there. You might hear her, you know, she just uh, dreams and she makes noises sometimes and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> um, but uh, Ava, you know, she is the wife of one of the other Crowley brothers. Um, and uh, Boyd and uh, Raylan have this history together, you know, they dug coal together. Um, so they kind of have a complex relationship, and Boyd, uh, Walton Goggins, he's a, you know, he's a fairly charismatic actor himself. He's playing, he plays sort of a wacky, you know, kind of character this season, you know, he comes off just like, kind of like a fun antagonist. But late in the season, especially within the last, uh, set of episodes or so, uh, there's some, you know, pretty good, uh, you know, specs of layers to him. Um, but at first he's kind of this, he seems like a religious nut in a way, or some, like, a uh, psycho that's using, like, this religious explanation in his mind to just go about and do whatever he wants. But it has a deeper connection for him, and he's kind of going through his own kind of mental struggle. That really comes about when we meet his father, you know, uh, Bo. Um, yeah, I don't know the actor who played Bo, but they all did a good job. All the actors on the show are pretty good. Um, and uh, Raylan's father, Arlo Givens. Uh, we seen well. I seen him uh, on the hundred previously, which he actually did a few year, few years after he started this. But he's a good actor, and I really like Raylan's dynamic with his father. You know, it definitely has a lot of layers to it too, and it really gets intense. Um, but Raylan's able to see through a lot of his father's lies and his setups. Um, even when he tries to have Raylan almost ambushed and killed, really, Raylan's able to catch on to it pretty quickly, and it's really, it's really cool. But at the same time, uh, there are moments where you see Arlo does have respect or admiration for Raylan being his son, whether he says it to him or not. Um, so I'm really curious to see how that relationship's going to be developed. Um, and you have, like, when, when I know now, um, Raylan's uh, ex-wife. And, uh, you know, she kind of deals with her kind of scheming husband, uh, you know, Greg. Is his name Greg or Gary? Forgive me. <laughs> um, I think it's Gary. But, uh, you know, I do like her and Raylan's dynamic. They sort of have a mutual understanding of each other. Um, and I, I kind of support Raylan and I want to know in the long run over, like, uh, Raylan and uh, Ava. Ava just seems kind of like more of a typical sort of a female like love interest to me, and I, I think she just gets herself in trouble, and that's kind of it. <laughs> um, but she's not a bad actress. It's the character I don't really get behind as much as like Winona. Um, you know, there's just a lot more I could talk about with this show, and really, it, it does have this energy about it. You know, that I think is uh, fairly uh, uncommon or. Uh, at least you don't really see on every show these days. Um, I'm just trying to figure out everything to get to. You know, it's a it's a kind of an in depth show. I also like I also like the opening. You know, the intro. Like a lot of times, like after I see a opening of a show a few times, I'll kind of skip through it. Um, but with shows like this and like uh, Dexter, you know, it's just kind of like so iconic. Like already to you know listen to the music. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> um, but back to Boyd. Uh, you know when his father kind of uh, starts shaking up uh, his operations and sort of ruins like this setup of this group he had. Uh, it really makes Boyd question his own beliefs. And I thought some of the best acting came out of like the last couple episodes where Boyd sort of is just uh, shaken by his father's actions and he has to sort of. Uh, Turn to Raylan. Him and Raylan sort of have to work together when this, uh, you know, cartel as after Gibbons, you know, pins him down in this house. Uh, really good. Uh, Boyd's father, Bo, is killed. Uh, really cool move by Raylan, kicking the gun out of the guy's hand, shooting him in the stomach, stuff like that. 
pretty cool setup for a you know season finale. I gotta say, I, I, I like the finale quite a bit, um, and it looks like uh, season two is picking up almost right from where that finale left off. I think. Um, but uh, yeah, so this has just been a really good show so far. I'm definitely going to be watching more of it. Uh, you know, I'm trying to space it out a little bit because I do have other things I need to uh, you know sort of get set on as well. Um, but I'm definitely going to be watching season two and onward. Uh, I do recommend watching Justified if you, for some reason like me, haven't seen it yet. If I had to rate the first season of uh, the show, it's kind of difficult. Um, but for now, I'm giving it a, about a B plus, which isn't a bad rating. That's a pretty good rating, okay? Um, it could be a B plus, maybe like an A minus. Like if I ever go back and watch it, I'm sure I might like it even more after seeing like the rest of the show. Maybe I'll appreciate this earlier part more. But for now, a B plus. You know, definitely good, uh, definitely enjoyable start, and it did make me want to watch more. It, like I said, it has this energy and uh, uh, you know has this energy about it. And uh, just Timothy Elephant's performance, I could just uh, watch you know all day if I had to really. Um, so yeah, really good show so far. Let me know what you guys thought about the first season, if you've seen the whole show. Um, don't spoil anything you know, later on though, please, because luckily Justified's one of the shows I don't know everything about. Um, you know, because with other shows like Sopranos and Sons of Anarchy, unfortunately, I've just heard like some spoilers over the years. Um, not as much with Sopranos, but luckily Justified's one of them I don't know like every major plot point about, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright. Peace. Fire in the hole! Yeah, B+. I don't know why I clicked on it again. See ya.